Today, we are going to be reacting to Alan Becker's latest masterpiece, Animation versus Physics. And I'm also gonna probably learn that I am not as smart as I think I am. Okay, we're starting out with the second coming dropping into a plane. Just a simple white plane of nothingness. Oh, he's walking. Okay, so the, the thing is tracking his distance. Now, this is obviously probably a sequel to Animation vs. Math, which we watched about a couple months back. And, um, yeah, we, we learned a little bit about math and calculus and, uh, very advanced things in the mathematical world. But today, we're gonna be taking it to the next step. Because, in my opinion, physics is just more complicated math. And here we go. Okay, so he's running 10 meters per second. He, he tripped. He, yeah, he encountered some friction. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, everything in this video, from what I've been told and what I've read in the comments and the description, is accurate. Like, everything in this video makes sense if you were to break it down. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really know how to explain what's happening. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys in the comments can explain some of the stuff that's going on right now. I was not very good at physics growing up, if you could imagine that. Okay, so I am very confused. I also, I, I'm curious if we'll get into, um, just like the theory of relativity and also like black holes and dark matter and that sort of stuff. Interesting. Angular momentum. There's so many letters in physics that I just don't understand. <laughs> I know velocity and mass and acceleration and momentum. Th that's about it. Oh, he transferred his force over to the big white ball. Interesting. So he's going to try to get to the other side. And let's see if he can use the ball to do it. Whoa, it's working. Kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay, wait a second. That's actually crazy. Th th this should be shown in every school teaching physics ever. Like, that is a perfect example of how kinetic energy and potential energy work. That is insane. So he gave himself an initial boost, and it worked. Because if you if you obviously are going down something, you're going to lose some energy over time because of friction. Wow. I'm liking this so far. And just the music makes so much sense. It just, like has this like whimsical way about it where like I just want to learn and I wish I could understand it more. I need some sort of like uh some sort of physics professor to break down this video because that just was amazing and now he's he's on a rocket ship. He made it into space and the shots look epic. Alan Becker honestly, he deserves an Oscar for this. Okay, we're getting into thrust. We're getting into basically, I think this is like orbital mechanic physics. He's going to space, boys. Oh, so he was on the moon or something. Interesting. I wonder if there's going to be any bad guys in this video. Obviously, in the animation versus math video, we saw that he was fighting with the, uh, the letter E. This time around, I don't know what he's going to be going up against. The speed of light. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting into different, like, wavelengths of, of different light. Ultraviolet light. There's so much, and it's just being thrown at us. All this information. I've never felt more dumb in my life. Oh my goodness. This is an amazing video, and I really, like, I wish I could understand it even better, because I feel like if I did, I would have a better appreciation for every little bit of math and physics that are going into this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is he going to crash into the sun? Nope. Well, yeah, the gravitational pull, it's, it's going to pull him right into the middle. Oh, never mind. Okay, he's gaining velocity. He's using the sun as to, like, bootstrap himself. Yep, he just went around and basically launched himself using the gravitational force of the sun. Epic. Oh, a magnet. Huh. The magnet should pull him back, right? Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Because that's... It's, it's a metal. Boom. Awesome. It's not just, like, one type of physics that we're getting into. Like, there's so many different types that we're getting into. And I really hope at some point there's a black hole. Huh. I love, too, how the second coming is able to figure it out like that. If I was that smart, I would be a genius at this point. He's literally picking up all these complicated physics um, equations and mathematics super quick. Wow. 
He used magnets to speed up. He's going faster than solar systems. He just left our galaxy. Space dilation. Oh, okay. That that is epic. <laughs> the Doppler effect. Relativistic jeet. My brain is growing. I am learning. That's a black hole. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if he gets sucked into the black hole, he's basically gonna get turned into a giant strand of spaghetti because it just slowly starts pulling you apart into the center of the black hole. It's so powerful that it sucks in everything, including light. That's why, like, around the black hole, you see, like, all of the light getting pulled in. Um, I wonder, can he survive that? I mean, I know that it's just a stick figure, but we don't know what happens when you go inside of a black hole. What? Gravitational pulse. Oh, the, the apple's still in there. Now, people think that when you do go through a black hole, it, it transcends time. Like, you could time travel, and you could also travel in space. You could, like, basically teleport if you could survive the black hole. It's basically like a wormhole to somewhere. We don't know where, though. Oh, my gosh. He's getting pulled into the singularity. He's, he, he's shrinking. He's, he's the size of cells now. I feel like I'm seeing the history of the universe! And he made it. He made it through the final plane in the singularity, I guess. Oh no, no, he's still going towards the singularity. He just got past whatever all of that was. Future singularity, past singularity, parallel universes? That's, that's him from a parallel universe. What? I am at a loss for words right now. Is he gonna be good? I don't know, I'm kinda scared. Huh. He found the apple. Oh, whoa, it changed. How- how- how did it change? Also, what are all those little particles popping up? Is that it? Is that the singularity? It, oh, he's... A, a hyperbolic space. Interesting. Oh, there's- there's another one. Wait, he, okay. He's, he went, he's looking at himself at the start of the video. This kind of reminds me of the movie Interstellar. Because in a black hole, you can transcend space and time. It's like going into the fourth dimension. At least that's, that's what we think. And they, they were the one placing everything. It was him. It was himself giving himself everything that he needed to get to this point in time. What? And now he's, he's, is he rewinding time again? I, I, he is. And there's another guy there with an apple and that's, is that him? Or, I guess it's all technically him from different points in space and time. And he was putting down the magnets and he put down everything, even the sun. If this is actually real, because right now it's all hypothetical, but if this is how it works, I just, I can't even wrap my head around it. It's too much to think about. It's the stuff of dreams. Huh. And yeah, that's, that's him falling through and he takes the hat. And I'm guessing he leaves. And then the same cycle repeats. It's, it's him now without the hat and the guy with the hat coming in is also him. And he does all the same stuff because he watched it happen and he could set it all up for the next one and the next one. Wow. Wow, I feel like I need to watch that like 25,000 times and then I probably still wouldn't even understand it. Now I am kind of curious about the comments as well. Alan Becker said, if anything isn't accurate, blame my lead editor. He's the physics nerd behind this. Amazing. Okay, so yeah, his, his lead animator is supposedly extremely talented, obviously with animation and also with math, math and physics. Um, so yeah, extremely smart person. Alan deserves an Oscar. That's what I said. He really, really does. As a person who studies physics, I half 
got to say, this is one of the most incredible videos I've ever seen on YouTube. I have a feeling that, that, that this will motivate others to understand more of physics. It's insanely accurate. It really seems like it. Now, I wish I could tell you and like verify that, but I, I really don't. Somebody said, I like the little interstellar chime reference during the black hole segment. I kind of missed that. Oh, no, wait. Let me oh. Yeah, because in Interstellar, I don't want to spoil it, but there was a similar kind of whole thing that happened, uh, you know, that was that was just like this video that we watched. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was amazing. That is Alan Becker's latest creation. If you guys enjoyed, as you guys already know, smash like on his video. Make sure you guys tap the like on this one as well. And while you're at it too, make sure you guys click right here to see more Alan Becker. Check it out.